so y'all it's been a minute but in this video it's another collab with Tanasha here they sent me a box and a bag in the bag I came with this car with the hair care instructions and their social media and of course uh what's this called a wig cap <laughs> a two-piece wig cap which means it comes with two and they also sent this bonnet it's my mom's favorite color so I know she's gonna try to steal it from me and of course they sent this silk wrap good for nighttime to wrap it up. And they also sent these Tinashe 3D mink lashes. Inside the box was of course the wig. And this wig today is a 22 inch deep wave 5x5 lace closure wig. As you can see it came with a whole bunch of baby hairs. No need to make your own. And I noticed from the start that I don't like the sides on the closure wigs. It's like they fold the lace. And I normally cut it off after I have already applied it. But I remembered this time to cut it off before. So I just applied it to the wig head. Pinned the baby hairs back. And just cut the sides off. Not too much. Just that little folded part. So that it lays better. Because it doesn't. That's The sides don't normally lay transparent with that side piece on it. So. Yeah, I just cut that off on both sides. And after that's done, I just put it to the side. And I already have my hair styled, so I just brushed back my baby hairs. And began to get the wig cap, apply it. And this time, I didn't put it over my ears or nothing like that. I just put it on, moved my baby hairs back, and only sprayed the forehead, as y'all can see and let that dry also since it's only a closure wig on at least right the forehead i didn't really pay attention when cutting i just basically cut straight across on my forehead and then left the rest out because i'm going to blend my baby hairs in of course with the wig but yeah now i'm going in with the got to be gel and only applying it to the forehead this way it was much easier so I didn't have to spray to loosen up the wig cap on the sides. But yeah, this is the wig y'all. Um, it came with three clips, two on the sides and one at the bottom. And now I'm going in and just straight applying it. And this time I had it directly on top of my hairline. Normally I think I pull it up to my forehead just a little bit so... Yeah, at the end, I did think my forehead looked mad big, but it was whatever. <laughs> and now I'm just going to wrap that up and let that dry. But while it's drying, I did go in and run my fingers through the hair just to fix the curls up. And I don't like how, like, when the waves first come, we first get it, how the curls are looking all fake. So, um, yeah, so in order to fix that, of course, you got to comb it through brush it through wet it up and all that so here I'm just prepping my curls fixing them to how I like it to make them look more natural I don't know I just can't wear curls straight out the box like that it just looks fake to me but this is 100% human hair though y'all I just like my wig to look like it's coming straight out the scalp so yeah I don't like when doing all the extra stuff and makes it look fake because you can tell when most females have wigs on because the way they do them and stuff but yeah I'm gonna finish styling and then I'll be back Now that I got the hair all wet, I went in with this brush. I'm not sure if this is a wig brush or not, but that's all I use it for. But yeah, I went in and combed it out and I zoomed in so y'all can see how big it's getting and the texture. I know I love big curly hair, so yeah, it was working in my favor. But once I got it all combed out, I went in with some more water. This is really how you get it to look all natural. Y'all see that? Period. Now by the time I was done styling the hair, it was basically should have been dry. It was dry. So I removed the hair wrap and 
now I'm going to cut off this lace as y'all can see and this is real easy since it's a closure wig I just cut straight across and now of course I'm going to spray some got to be spray on the lace to make it back transparent and I'm going in from my nose and up to make my part and wrapping it back up so I can prepare the hair while that's drying easier process and now I'm going in with some Cantu just because I noticed that the hair was getting kind of frizzy when it dried which is typical but I just apply some Cantu so it can stay how it looks while it's wet then I took the wrap off again applied the Gatsby glue to the top Y'all know I do this instead of the hot comb. I don't even know where my hot comb is. I've been looking for it. It's probably, I probably already packed it months ago and forgot, but yeah. I went in with that, laid down the top, and now I'm going in and doing my baby hairs. Y'all see me. And now that I got my baby hair situated, I removed the hair clips so the hair can come back down because obviously it's not going to be in my way anymore but as i said i feel like my head looks super big so yeah i'm just gonna wait for it to dry one eternity later so yeah y'all i'm just going in and fluffing it out now it didn't turn out as bad as i thought my forehead doesn't look that big but yeah this is the final look Y'all, this is the final look. This is from Tanache hair. I buy five lace, which means there's no lace on the side, so you can use your little baby hairs. But yeah, I haven't had curly hair in a minute, so yeah. This is a five by five lace closure wig, deep wave, 22 inches. Um, let me show y'all. Y'all, all my stuff is gone. My other things was packed, so that's why my wall looks real empty. This is probably my last video until I move, but yeah, that's how long it is. I'm finna leave and it's mad cold outside, so I need to find my headband to put on. My eyes check before we leave. See if I need to update my prescription. Yeah, I'm keep doing this because I like, y'all know I like big hair. It, when it's curly, I like it big, like mine, my natural hair, so. <laughs> but overall, I would give this hair an eight and a half. It's real good hair though. And this texture is deep wave, so if you guys like this texture, it's deep wave, so yeah, click the link in the description for more details. I'm gonna keep it in for about a week and update you guys. So yeah. This is my first time doing my hair in so long, y'all. I just been braiding it and wearing it out, but well that's my first time with another week in a couple weeks, so since Christmas. But yeah, like, comment, subscribe if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me or them to contact me or them. And yeah, I'll see y'all in the next video. Until next time, little Jayla. Gotta, gotta, gotta blast!